Dakota Sullivan Middle School. I've been at the Children's Detention Home for ten and a half months. I enjoy reading my books, um, sitting around the cottages with others, um, sleeping most definitely, um, and I like going to school because going off campus it kind of gives me a better opportunity to get out there and better myself with my education. When I grow up, I want to major in social work because being here has kind of showed me a lot, but my minor or my backup would be photography. I remember when I walked in here, I was crying. I was throwing the biggest pity party ever because I kept telling myself, I'm not going to be able to do it here. I'm not going to be able to make any friends. I'm not able, I'm not going to be able to interact. I'm not going to be able to be myself. And so then about like two weeks later when I finally got settled in, I noticed that this is basically just like, this is basically your home away from home. My name is Andrew. I have lived at the Children's Detention Home for a year and a couple of in a couple of months. The best thing about the Children's Detention Home is that there's people that care. These people who have my back, and I know that sometimes I can get their back, and I can make sure we don't fall in the wrong hands, and that we can help each other out. That's basically respect. So the best thing about the Children's Home is that. We respect each other. Whenever I try to do something, I tend to think about like things like people would say, you can't do it, or they try to pull me back, and I just need to know I need to go forward. Because I know they can't let me back, so my biggest challenge is letting people get over me. Like, I need to let them, I don't want them taking me over, I want to just continue going forward. One thing I have learned at the Children's Detention Home is like, give respect, you earn the respect, you give what you have and you get more in return. So if you do something, then you can get something back. Like, like this morning I did dishes. We ended up getting some ice cream and good snacks in return. So if you do something good, then something good will come out of it. You can basically get what you put in. I'll say the person who has helped me would be uh, my parents and the team of the home, like Miss Kathy and Miss Mallory and Miss Carla, Miss Alicia, and the other staff of the home. They help motivate me, and they don't. They be. They, they would say that like, don't let other people get over me. One word I would use to describe the Children's Detention Home would be family, because we have each other's back, and we give and we earn respect, and that's what a family is. I'm most thankful for having a bed, having a place to sleep. And having food to eat, having things I can do while the other while there's other kids that don't have these. And I feel very lucky that I am thankful that I have all these. My goal is to like try to socially interact with people more better and easily and try to study more in school so I can reach my my dream. My name is Sydney, and I go to school at Rock Hill High. I enjoy reading. I actually enjoy school, <laughs> and I enjoy Color Guard. My biggest challenge would probably have to be juggling everything that I do, from school, from work, um, from trying to be there for the people around me. It's really hard. Um, it's a lot of energy in time and you have to really organize it all. One thing I've learned at the Children's Attention Home is scheduling and planning. I'm way better at it now and I'm so happy because <laughs> before I would get stressed out because I'm like oh, I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to do this, how to do that. I've learned how to deal with my stress and to cope with things of way better than what I used to. It used to be really bad like I, w I would get stressed out I wouldn't really talk about it, then I wouldn't eat, and then I wouldn't sleep, and now it's so much better. It's really, it's, it's good. My goal is to graduate high school um, early, and then go into college right after that, 
When I grow up, I want to be a sonographer, which is the person that does ultrasounds. I've always loved the in and out of how things work, and you can actually see inside the body. I have lived at the children's attention home for about two years and ten months now. I've done so much stuff that I would never have done if I was at home and if I wasn't here. Like, I've done so much stuff. It's amazing, and it's been really fun. The best thing about the Children in Attention's Home is you are supported. People care about you. It's really welcoming. We're all going through something hard, so usually people understand if you get mad all of a sudden or if you're sad, like, people won't leave you alone because they want to make sure you're okay. Even if they don't know you, even if you just arrived that day, like, people are still going to be there for you. I'm thankful for my support system because I've never had that. And it's a big change from going to something that you've never had to having all these people care about you and you're being supported and they want to be there for you. They want to go to your school activities. They want to be there for band concerts and stuff like that. Like, it's really, really nice.